What's up everyone? Welcome back to class. Hopefully you got a surprise in your mailbox. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the link here to see the video. And uh, let me know if you didn't get it because I'll figure out how to, how to get that to you. Today's shout out of the week goes to Anthony. I want to show you his spine poem. Uh, what I really liked about it is I thought it was really creative. I thought it flowed really, really well. And I thought that um, I liked how he used um, some of the same types of books over and over again to get the repetition. So that was really, really cool. Um, love seeing your spine poems. There are a ton more that I loved, um, but I pick one every week. So stay tuned for next week's pick of the week um, for a shout out for what we do for this week. So. Here's the agenda for today. I'm gonna quickly review your module. I'm not gonna go over it in detail because we've done this for two weeks now. And then um, I am going to show you how to do blackout poetry, which will be the further activity for this week. All right, so as always, your module is up on OneNote. It is the same format as before, and I made the instructions bold again. That seemed to work really well last week. You guys seem to be able to find the files, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to double click these things to download because the printout preview here is just a preview. It's a picture. It does not have the links in it. All right, so same idea, um, reading. We wanna encourage you to read 30 minutes every day. If you're running out of books, there's a link to Teen Book Cloud, um, and that's a service that the county is providing us that gives access to free books, which is really cool. Um, but the, your article for the week is called Do Not Disturb How I Ditched My Phone and Unbroke My Brain. And so that article is right below. And you'll see it here. It's actually, you don't even have to download it. You can just read it there. Um, and I put a note that you don't have to do the tasks in the box at the top unless you would like to. Um, but annotating is encouraged. So that's your reading for this week. Your writing is the same as before. The tic-tac-toe file is here. Writing prompts, you'll choose three of them and write about whatever you want. Send those to me on Teams. Speaking, you'll watch a TED Talk about how boredom can lead to your most brilliant ideas, which is super relevant for all of us, I feel like. Then the Flipgrid actually combines the reading, speaking, and thinking. And so in Flipgrid, tell your teacher how the reading and the TED Talk relate to one another. Um, and you'll just record a video and upload it to that Flipgrid and you'll use that link right there. The further activity is the blackout poetry, which I will show you how to do now. All right, so what's gonna be helpful for your blackout poetry? You can look online, um, you can Google images, there's tons of them, and you can kind of see what, what the idea is. But the idea is, is that you have like a page out of like a book or something, and you're making something else out of it, right? Like, almost like our spine poetry last week, we're choosing specific words to make a poem. This week, there's a little bit more freedom because there's more words available to you. So what I did is I uh, screenshotted a page from the selection, which is like my favorite book, but it was one of the ones that I knew that I could probably use because I know it really well. You can copy a page out of your book. You can take a picture of the book or page in the book and then do it on the computer. You can do it however you want. There's even some links on that page that lets you do it online, but I'm gonna show you kind of what my process would look like. Okay, um, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go through and you wanna read the page. Okay, so I've already pre-read this, I've already pre-chosen, I already know what I'm gonna do. Um, but I found enough words on here that I think I can put them together and make them flow like a poem, all right? And so you're gonna be one looking for diction. Diction is a word that means word choice. Diction that matches the tone. Tone is a literary term that means how the author is trying to portray the passage or the mood of the poem that you're going for, right? So if you're going for a poem that has a sad tone or a depressing tone, you're not gonna wanna choose words that reflect happy. Does that make sense? So you wanna choose words that are gonna reflect the specific tone or um, almost like storyline or like whatever that you're going for. Okay, so here's what, here's what I mean. Um, so here's, Here's how I'm gonna do this. It says, um, the first thing I was gonna circle, I'm gonna circle the words first and then I'll go through and I'll show you how it, how it ends up. Okay, so I'm gonna circle um, smudged makeup. Maybe I'm more of a box, but that's fine. And then I'm gonna circle, then she turned and looked at me. There we go. 
Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna circle I, so you can do that. I. Waited. Against the wall. And that only made me more anxious. So I'm kind of going for like a feel of like somebody is like they see somebody in a room and they don't really know what to make of it. And so it's kind of like a mysterious type of feel, anxious. You see how I'm using words like anxious and um, smudged makeup. Maybe somebody was crying, right? So I just, I just kind of chose words that all went along with the same theme. Um, and then I was, I'm gonna choose, I wanted to do this, ornate flowers. Ornate is a great word. So here's what my poem is gonna look like, right? So it says, smudge makeup. Then she turned and looked at me. I waited against the wall and that only made me more anxious. Ornate flowers, perfectly manicured nails. He stood beside me and stared at the flowers too. Um, I have my words, that's the first step you wanna do. The second step, the whole point of blackout poetry is to black it out. Since my colors are, are black and white and it's kind of reversed, usually the words are black and the background is white, I'm gonna use white to black it out so it's almost like a white out poem, but it's the same idea. Okay, so this is eventually what it looks like. Again, I said this is really ugly. It's not at all pretty or like what I want it to look like. But yeah, so I have all of my box dot words. So I know what I knew what I was like gonna leave. And then um, sometimes I even see some people kind of, um, they make designs in there. They like kind of connect the words in the order. So you could get creative with it however you wanna do it. Um, is totally fine. Well guys, that's all I have for you this week. Um, I hope that you enjoy and have fun with the blackout poetry. Email me and I can help you out with anything that you have. Remember to go on Teams and submit your assignment. Um, that'll include the writing and then any pictures that you have of your blackout writing so I can shout out somebody next week for their awesome work. Until next time, get outside, read a book, and be nice to each other.